What's up guys, Ars Claudio from Visual Motor WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to make your WordPress more secure using Google two-step verification or Google Authenticator for free. So imagine the following scenario, you need to log into your site, you need to enter with the email, username and password, but how to apply an extra layer of security that is the um, the changing codes, the changing password codes that Google Authenticators create on your mobile. So first step for this tutorial is go to your App Store or go to your Google Play Store and download the Google Authenticator. It's free and gonna be linked to your Google account, okay? Then go to your WordPress dashboard, review the left side bar menus, hover mouse over plugins and click on add new plugin. Before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video and share this content for a friend of yours. You have no idea how much that helps us because you bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO plugins, optimizations and many many more topics not just internet on a site's favor. So let's get this started. Review the upper right corner of your screen next to keyword and into search plugins we're gonna type Mini Orange Google Authenticator and here is the guide we are looking for. Mean Orange Google Authenticator, WordPress Two Factor Authenticator, 2FA, OTP, SMS, and email, passwordless login. Click on install now. Click into the activate button. This is gonna redirect you to the plugins list, a list where you can see all of the present plugins on your site. And if you review the left side bar of menus while you're screwing down the page, next to settings you're gonna be able to see a new menu called Mean Orange to Factor. Click on it. And you're gonna be redirected to the setup wizard, okay? We're gonna click on Let's Get Started. Users should set up to FA after first login. User will set up to FA in plugin dashboard. Up to you, okay? I'm gonna choose this option. Only for specific users or for all users. Up to you as well, okay? According to your needs. Should users be given a grace of period off? Should they be directly enforced for 2FA setup? Give users a grace. How many days? Maybe. 10 days, up to you, okay? All done. Congratulations, you are almost there. Great job, the plugin to FA policies are now configured. Configure to FA for yourself or we can close wizard. If you click on configure to FA to yourself, remember, you're gonna need to choose the method. We are looking for Google, so the first option, Google Microsoft Alpha Authenticator. Click on save and continue. Now you're gonna need to use the, your phone camera to um, read this QR code by opening the Google Authenticator app, okay, that I asked you to download. I'm gonna skip this setup because I just want to show you the other parts of setups, okay, this is, but this is important, okay. Now we have to the dashboard, setup to FA for me. You can configure security questions, okay. This is gonna help you in order to make it easier. For example, you can type some questions, hit the save button, Now we have the 2FA with three questions, okay, instead. So we have two methods for 2FA now. We have the option of the 2FA using the QR code and an option of 2FA replying the questions. So 
we have two methods. If you can't access the Google Authenticator app for some reason, you're still gonna have the question. So it's almost like a backup. We can test it in the case that we want. Answers are correct, so we are good to go. We still can use other authenticator apps and options, but using only those two into the free plan, we can have all good and we're happy to go. We have some login settings to explore, enable to FA for users. You can enable or disable according to your needs. Enable plugin log on the fly to FA configuration. Enable login and the grace. Save change in the case that you prefer, and of course, selectors rules to enable to FA for. We have three users for free version, okay? So it's useful for the admins of the site. In the case that you want more users, you're gonna need the pro version of the plugin, of course. Nothing is free. We have custom login forms. We have some premium features in the case that you want to explore, and you have some useful add-downs. And that is, here is your account. You can register to their account, okay, in order to manage more things. But for now, you are good to go. Your site is gonna be very, very more secure, and it is for free. And that is, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case that you have any question. Don't forget to check out the Visual Moto Borderless plugin to gain widgets, elements, templates, and tools to build up your site using Elementor, Gutenberg, or WP Bakery, or Enzo WordPress Team, the best WordPress team you can install to customize your site in the way that you want, or Growth.net platform, a uh, place where you can submit your blog for receiving and publishing guest posts, all for free. In addition, with our Sites.gallery, that is a CSS gallery where you can promote your site, your app, your landing page, or game design. and Finally, in the case that you want to go premium while doing your site, go to visualmoto.com, purchase the Visual Moto Pass, and unlock full access to our entire templates library, with hundreds of pre-built websites that you can import with a single click. In addition, for premium blocks, assets, tools, templates, plugins, and many, many more features to create the site of our dreams. And that is. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I see you tomorrow. All the best!